I'm sure at one point or the next, while using your browser, your internet, you will receive this error message. Hmm, can't reach this page, took too long to respond. And this can be very frustrating. And that's why in today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to fix this error message. Guys, welcome back to Drew Tutorial. I'm Andrew. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to fix this error message. Now guys, the first step that you want to take in order to fix this error message is simply right click on your Windows icon here in the taskbar and go to settings. Then on the left hand side, you want to click network and internet. And here on the proxy, you want to click on that and you want to turn off automatically the tech settings. You want to turn this off guys. Now guys, the next thing that you want to do, simply click on the Windows icon here and simply type network. And you will see view network connection here go ahead and open that now guys whichever internet connection you're using you want to go ahead and right click on it go to properties and you want to choose the option that says ipv4 you want to go and click on that and click properties now guys by default i don't have any preferred dns selected but if you're facing these issues i'm going to share with you two of the best and the fastest dns address that you can use and these are cloudflare and google public dns now for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to just simply choose one of them let's let's use the cloudflare one so that's basically one that one that one that one and for the alternative dns one that zero that zero that one once you go ahead and have this filled in go ahead and select ok and then you want to go ahead and close this. Now the next thing that you want to do is simply click on the Windows icon and simply type CMD. And once the command prompt shows up, you want to right click on it and run as administrator. Select yes once you get that pop up. And you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. And all of these I will be put in within the description of this video. Now once you do that, just simply go ahead and hit enter. And this will successfully flush your DNS. Now, the next thing that you want to do now, guys, you want to type in the following command, which is net sh space winsock space reset. Go ahead and reset that. Once it finished, it will prompt you to restart your computer, as you can see there. And so you want to do the following by restarting your computer. Now, guys, once you restart your computer, go ahead and try to access that website again i can guarantee you most likely this will fix the issue and if you do guys i really appreciate if you take the moment to come back to this video and give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below and if you're still in the channel for the first time i'm andrew and welcome again to Drew tutorial and i really appreciate if you join the community by subscribing to this channel it's absolutely free and see you next time for another tutorial just like this one